Hey again, it's me, Jake. I, uh, I was asked the question this week, and there's my dog, Bluey. <laughs> I was asked the question this week about how to, to do chaturanga, or as I like to call them, mindful yoga push-ups without, without hurting your shoulder. And this is an excellent question. And um, chaturanga can be an excellent way to get stronger in your upper back and in your shoulders, okay? But if, if done misaligned, it could also be powerless for your, for your shoulder, okay? And if you're doing enough yoga, you'll be doing plenty of these, these yoga push-ups. So you wanna be really clear on, uh, on how you're, you're doing them and make sure you're doing them aligned. And so, here it is. Out, Louie. Hey, get, get. Watch out. Louie, go lay down. No, go lay down. Go lay down. Okay, so let's see if we can do this with the dog <laughs> present. So you start on hands and knees, tabletop. There we go. <laughs> okay, and you want to be really clear with your foundation. Set up the center of your wrist, even with your outer shoulder. Okay, and the wrist, wrist make a straight line across the mat. Okay, so you want to be clear with the, uh, the foundation. And the knees underneath your hips. Okay, and lengthen the torso long from your hip all the way up through your armpit. Get long. And as you exhale, keep the arms straight and just soften the chest towards the floor. Just enough to feel the shoulders even on the back. It should feel powerful in your upper back. And from there, wiggle the knees back four to six inches. Watch out, Louie. Okay, and lift up for a plank or the top of a push up. Keep the arms steady. Okay, it's the same action. Hold on. <laughs> okay, lengthen from the hips forward through the sides of your chest. Okay, keep the arms steady and just melt your chest enough okay, to feel the shoulders even on your back. Okay, and from here, keep the legs strong as you lower elbows slightly away from the ribs. Okay, for chaturanga. The chin angled slightly forward. Okay, only lower down enough to keep the, that power in your upper back. The shoulders even on the back. Okay, come back up. Okay. And so, I'll just show once again, without any uh, dogs running by, that you set up with this, the wrists underneath your shoulders. Okay, spread the fingers wide. Make the arms powerful. Lengthen the spine. Okay, and melt your chest towards the floor, just enough, okay, to feel that power in your upper back, the shoulders even on your back, okay, keep that, wiggle the knees back, step back, for the top of a push-up, okay, or high plank as, it, as it's called, okay, and keep the legs steady, okay, and try not to let your hips hammock, okay, and try not to overlift the hips, Okay, the back has all these beautiful curves. You want to keep them, little arch in your low back. Okay, and you lower down, elbows slightly away from the ribs, okay, to keep that power in your upper back. Okay, and only lower down to keep that evenness about the, uh, the shoulders. Okay, and then lift up. Okay. So that's Chaturanga. Not chaturanga. <laughs> so I will show in the next two videos um, a couple of the common misalignments. If you have stronger or tighter shoulders, or if you're you're not quite as strong, what the the tendency might be to misalign and so <laughs> Stay tuned for those in the next two videos. <laughs>